Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time. Uh, if it is the first time, then please have a rummage around the channel and see if you like some of the videos, if you like this one. Uh, because uh, it'd be nice to get to know you, uh, so make comments, that'd be cool. And if you do want to subscribe, then I really appreciate the support and it would be lovely to see you sticking around and commenting on other videos to come. So, this is one of those videos where it's not like, it's not about books, it's not about music, it's not about films, it's not about a specific kind of art necessarily. You could say that art is included, but it's one of my kind of meaning of life, kind of make life better kind of mental health kind of videos. So I do this sometimes, quite regularly really, in the sense that um, if I look back on how many of these videos are on my channel, it's probably more than I'd realise. But I think it's a, it's a nice thing to do, and I think it's an important thing to do. And I'm bouncing off two things. The first thing I'm bouncing off is a couple of friends have been doing videos about how to read more. Um, and obviously this is primarily a book-based channel, so it makes sense for me to possibly do a similar kind of video. I have done a video like that about a year ago, so I'm not, that's not what this is. But it is a response to that because the idea of giving advice on how to read more is about how to get more out of life if you want to read more because you love reading. So that's kind of the idea behind the videos. So um, I'm talking about uh, Ollie from Criminally and MJ from Reading This Life. They've both been doing videos about reading more. So Ollie did one video and MJ's been doing a series of videos, which are really awesome. They're great videos. I'll link them below. But I want to just talk about getting more out of life in general, not necessarily just getting more out of reading. So um, it's a slightly different take on uh, Ollie's one, for example, because Ollie said the reason why he reads so much is because that's all he does. And one of the things I'm going to say is I think what I love about my life is it's very varied and I do lots of things. I couldn't possibly read the amount of books that Ollie reads because I'm doing other things as well. And it's all cool, you know, like he says, and like I really want to say, you do what you will need to do to be happy. And if you want to do one thing and concentrate on that's cool. But I think um, definitely one thing that makes me happy, and it's probably true for a lot of people, is that your days and your weeks are quite varied uh, and you're doing different things. So it keeps everything fresh. So, and there's so much to, there's so much to appreciate in life, which is why I think it's important to do these videos because you can sometimes get bogged down by obligation, by negative stuff, by worry about some of the big stuff that's happening in the world, by health things, physical health things, all sorts of things can really pull you down but there's so much in life to appreciate. There's so much in life to make you happy. And there's so much to look forward to, to, to get you up in the morning. Uh, there's so much around. So that's why I think variety is the spice of life, as they say, because I think there is so much in life to appreciate, so much to find, so much to grab hold of. Um, so uh, that's one thing I'm bouncing off. The other thing I'm bouncing off, I just thought it'd be nice to do this video when I was thinking about the fact that I'm going to start my staff choir again at that place I work. So it's, it's a decision that's quite a big decision because I made a decision to stop it uh, a little while ago, two years ago, I think, um, because um, it, was just, it was just something else that was kind of um, uh, an extra responsibility. I was quite busy and there was stuff going, you know, there's quite a lot happening in the week. And I am really busy. I mean, it's not about that, but I feel like I've got the headspace and I want to do it because I know it helps morale in the, in the place I work and I know people were missing it. And I was missing it because it's nice to see those guys every week and all that kind of thing. So, so I'm looking forward to doing it again, but the fact that I made that decision to do it again is an interesting bit of self-reflection because it, because I am really busy. So, but it's, it's, it's only like an hour or so a week and I'm sure it's going to be fine and it should be fun. It is always fun and it's lovely to see those guys. So so I just thought it was interesting that I was doing that. Um, and uh, the just to kind of clarify that in case you're thinking, well, is it a big decision? Uh, so I'm a music teacher in a college. 
So I do that full time. On Thursday evenings, I do a youth club kind of job uh, for uh, the whole evening as well, um, which is kind of a music based youth project, uh, which I started this uh, started that in June this year. I've also got my band, uh, so the band I'm in is very busy and getting busier, which is good because it slowed down over COVID, but now we're busier again, which is great. So we're regularly gigging. I've also got family. Um, I'm also trying to write my next novel and I've got a very short poetry book um, that's now out, which I need to talk about on the channel, but I haven't yet. Um, and I'm always producing new stuff. And I'm, I'm also, there's a couple of short stories I want to write as well. Um, so there's writing things, a big thing for me as well. And I'm obviously writing songs for the band as well. And uh, I'm also someone who is, is producing content for the channel, which is, uh, I love reading, so I need to, to, to leave time for reading as well. Uh, but I also am enjoying the fact I'm doing this Doctor Who thing on the channel and I'm um, planning to do videos on the members of Monty Python and just different things I want to do for the channel that I think will be fun. Uh, so I'm quite busy. I'm definitely busy. <laughs> but I think that's what makes me feel young. When my bones are aching and I just think, oh my God, the 50s are hard. You know what I mean? Um, it's that stuff that makes me feel young and makes me feel like, you know, you got to keep your blood pumping and, and all that sort of stuff. So just a few things I wanted to say about that. I've already said that variety, I think, is the spice of life. I think doing lots of different things is good, um, which uh, if you're watching, Ollie, this is not a criticism to your video at all. Um, please don't take it like that. It's just something that I think is quite a thing that would work for a lot of people, that idea. I think it's quite... Um, a good thing so for me that's my approach to life and something I think is, is could relate to some people so I think variety is a thing I think being passionate about something is really important so that absolutely goes with what MJ and Ollie are saying and I think it's really important to find your passion and if you haven't if you if you're a little bit like unmotivated or uh you, just, just, you haven't you don't feel that passionate about anything then try things out look into things you know when i say at the end of my videos at the moment i've got this thing where i say stay curious i do that deliberately because it is so important to be curious and if you haven't got something you're passionate about it could be you just haven't found it yet and if you if that curiosity takes you somewhere and then you're like oh i've been i've been looking at this thing or i've been doing this thing and i've never done it before and i'm really loving it that's awesome you know it could be like going into a sort of um, ballroom dancing or something or or like craft work or woodwork or you know anything you know, a friend of mine who's got an awesome channel by the way called Top 3 that's definitely worth checking out she's in the last couple of years she's been starting do, doing this woodwork stuff and she's making these really awesome things out of a developing skill in woodwork it's awesome and she loves it and that kind of thing you know, she just sort of fell on it. She just started trying it and she loves it. So that's something that she's become passionate about and being passionate about something is also something that would make your life more fulfilled and more um, fresh and um, lively and viable and uh, beautiful. Um, get your blood pumping. Another thing about, um, another point I wanted to make was relationships, obviously. Um, speak to people. Friendships and family relationships are so important. They are the thing that glues us together in the sense that they don't just glue us together socially, but they also glue us together internally. You know, we, we all our thoughts and our feelings are galvanised and consolidated and reinforced by our relationships. It's the, why, it's the reason why Booktube works so well, because reading is a solitary activity but when it becomes social with booktube it gets reinforced and enhanced and that's you know so so relationships are really really important so don't forget to speak to your friends and your family and make friends and you know i mean one of the things i try and do as well when i watch a video on youtube on youtube on, on booktube if i try if i watch something i just 
make sure I just wait that extra, what, 40 seconds, minute and a half to write a comment about the video because those people would appreciate it and you might have something to say. And even if you don't have a lot to say, you can still say great video or whatever. Um, so that kind of thing, the relationships is really important. Um, another thing, kind of an obvious point, but make every day count. You know, if you're feeling a bit under the weather, then just reduce your expectations about what you want to do in the day, but still try and make the day worthwhile. So you could do things that don't aren't quite as, as um, don't need as much exertion, you know, possibly. Or if you're tired, you haven't got the same headspace, you can still do things that kind of get you rested while you're still getting something out of the day, you know. So try not to just have a day that's just completely wiped out, if you can. I think that's a good policy. Because I try and do that. If I if I get ill or I'm really tired, I'll just rather than just not do anything, I'll try and do something that I can do in that condition. So I think making everyday count is really important. Um, and then the last point is love life. You know, uh, this is definitely from a privileged position of not being in a uh, a country that's full of famine and war, uh, civil war corrupt governments, blah, 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 all the corrupt government. Um, it, it is from a privileged position, absolutely. But I think a lot of people watching this video would be from that position as well, where they're not, um, you know, trying to live day to day and they kind of feed themselves and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm genuinely aware that it sounds, it could sound a bit trite to say love life if you're struggling. And it could be that you've got, uh, uh, so, uh, you know, a serious medical thing that's stopping you from loving life in the same way that you might have done before this medical thing had happened. And absolutely, I'm, I'm, I actually get that. But so many people have got a stable, happy, um, uh, undramatic life, but they don't love it as much as they, re they, they, as much as they could. They don't realise they could love it more. They don't appreciate the day that it's okay. You know, if a day goes by and nothing bad happens, they don't see that as a great day, and they can, because great days can be ordinary days. So love life. Make sure you're smiling as much as you can. Smiling actually physically makes you better. Smiling and laughing extends your life, genuinely extends your life. The research shows that smiling and laughing extends your life. So uh, gravitate towards what makes you smile. Gravitate towards the people that make you smile. Gravitate towards the things that make you smile when you do them and enjoy your day. Have a fantastic 2024. Have a fantastic life in general and just enjoy it. Yeah? Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.